In the ever-evolving landscape of modern warfare, the need for precise and timely decision-making has never been more critical. The complex operating environment demands a level of understanding that goes beyond human capacity alone. The sheer magnitude of information, the speed of engagements, and the intricate web of variables create a battlefield where human cognition alone falls short. The NATO Science and Technology Organization recently brought together scientists, researchers and military operators to test a new system that merges artificial intelligence with command and control. I think there are, there are many opportunities to use artificial intelligence. We need to build our situational awareness because artificial intelligence will help either to better address this data deluge coming from everywhere, coming from the battlefield, coming from in information environment, coming from space. You have to bring that somewhere. And the first is a command and control chain to the decision making. So we have to win the battle of opportunities. In the heart of our command centers, AI is emerging as a force multiplier, providing our military with unparalleled capabilities to analyze, adapt and overcome the complexities of the modern operating environment. Artificial intelligence really underpins so much of what uh, NATO now does, right from military operations through to political decision making. It is the backbone of so much of NATO's activity. And because of that, NATO is taking a very broad approach to adopting AI. The NATO team trialed a system named Antisip during a recent exercise. The AI-enabled command and control tool based on NATO SEO research and created by French defense company Thales is designed to aid decision-making in an operational setting using its inbuilt wargaming tool. Its advanced machine learning algorithms analyze real-time data, predict potential scenarios, and offer actionable insights for military decision-makers. Well, it's looking for all sorts of information, the one that you can see, uh, and the one that you can't see or that you can see, say, in uh, social networks, in chats, in emails, in all sorts of uh, stuff happening, and that sensors will grab it. It can come from all of the five domains. It's like in rugby. You are moving on the field, and then there is an opportunity. So you have to see the opportunity, so sensing, but you have to decide to go uh, and, and, and seize this opportunity. So the, this decision-making will be faster, and leaders will uh, use this artificial uh, uh, intelligent assisted decision making. It's not the machine, it's the, it's, it's the human in the loop who will decide it. But you will have the opportunity to go faster, to get some proposals faster than, uh, than ever. And uh, the aim is to keep the edge, so faster than the adversary. Strategic partnerships between NATO, industry and academia from across the Alliance allow for the pooling of resources and knowledge, enhancing the development and implementation of cutting-edge technologies such as the Antisip project. Test and evaluation is absolutely essential if we are to take the scientific work of the Science and Technology Organisation and mature them into military applications that will be of uh, relevance to our military operators. So it's an essential part of the maturation going from what might work in a laboratory to what will work in the battlefield. So in our network, the largest in the world, uh, ACT is the most active NATO body. They bring to the table military uh, knowledge, the future of our military instrumental power. And we do have, let's say, the same role in the sense that both ACT and NATO Science and Technology Organization, we do look into the future from different perspectives. And when we can bring those perspectives together, discuss, I, I'm sure and I know that this will be, let's say, creating the technological edge and the military edge we need in the future. Antisip is a very good example of how this can be done. As we confront challenges in this dynamic world, artificial intelligence will become our indispensable ally, helping us navigate the complexities of the modern operating environment. In the era of rapid technological advancement, 
Embracing artificial intelligence is not just a choice, it's a necessity for safeguarding our nations and securing a future of unparalleled strength. The future for AI-enabled technologies in a political military sphere are very considerable, but equally we need to make sure that we can defend ourselves against adversarial use of artificial intelligence-enabled capabilities, including from potential aggressors or strategic competitors that do not uh, have our own ethical, legal and moral norms. The opportunities are very significant, but we need to be able to defend ourselves against adversarial use. How far can we go? Where is the glass ceiling. The next step is to make sure that we together progress together and get to the desired end state, which is making better informed, more rapid, better decisions in this complicated world.